<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a hip-hop media mogul who's been in the game for decades. He's been out of the public eye for some time now, but today he's here to tell us all he's been doing. Mm, please welcome Benzino. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hello, how are you, sir? Hi, how are you? I'm well. Thank you so much for how being are here. You? Good. Good. How are you? Yeah. Have a seat, right? Oh, you smell good. Thank you. you guys look amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We do our best, huh? Yeah, yeah. well, we sure do damn good. I, mean, <laughs> I just gotta tell you. Right, right. What, what are you wearing? That, that, that fragrance is very nice. Oh, it's Prada. Prada. Mm. Yes, thank you. That's very, very good. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Prada. All right, Prada. <laughs> so, Benzino, I mean, we've seen you in, in television for some time. I mean, you've been on Marriage Boot Camp. <laughs> yeah. You have uh, been on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, mm -hmm. which yes. when you left, it was kind of yeah. rocky. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of stepped away from television for a minute. Mm -hmm. Um, but people don't know that you are co-founder and owner of Source Magazine, one of the longest-running rap periodicals ever. Yes, well, me and my partner Dave Mays, um, yeah, it was, you know, like really before the internet. Yes. Yeah, if you had to find out about hip-hop, yep. you know, Source yes. Magazine. Yes, You know, we was in Boston. It started at, as a, like a one-page newsletter at yes. Dave's radio station at Harvard. And it just grew from there to like a wow. big phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, it was cool. Wow. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, what else, as far as um, Hip Hop Weekly, did you ever feel like, you know, you had to get back in that world when you left the source or? Well, at the time, um, when it was, you know, when our time was up at the source, um, mm -hmm. we was just thinking because, you know, the internet was kind of replacing magazines. Correct, correct. At the time. And, you know, like the source would come out every month. So by the time, you know, you would get your magazine at that, when, when, once the internet was out, you probably heard about everything that was in there already. Yeah, yeah. So we just, you know, we came up with another idea, um, which is a lot, it, it kind of covered hip hop more, because the source was about politics, <laughs> And whereas that Hip Hop Weekly was just about, um, you know, the TV, the movies. I mean, everything in the culture now mm -hmm. is hip hop. Yeah. So um, it just wasn't about rapping and, and the music. It was about everything, TV, um, movies. And it was a lot more short reading. And, and you know, we had it coming out every two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, let's talk about hip hop and, you know. <laughs> Yeah. How hip hop has been uh, changed. Yeah, it has changed. Like right now, you it's may evolved. have had a little beef with Eminem. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, but we don't we oh, don't man, talk about that. Yes. We don't talk about that. that. Well, you know, <laughs> but I'm just, I was trying to segue into the whole beef with Pusha T and Drake. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what What are your thoughts on that? Know, and Drake has been quiet now. Well, you know, um, hip hop's. I mean, battling in hip hop's been yeah. since day one. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. Course. Um, I think as hip hop and as society has evolved I think um the battling and, and of course with, with with social media it becomes a little more um personal I mean well battling's always been personal when, when you go at somebody you kind of want to go at them um you kind of want to hit them where it hurts mm -hmm. oh yeah but yeah. you kind of just want to keep it on the mic you want to yeah. keep it yes. back in the day we say on wax there's no more wax anymore so you just want to keep it on the mic um I think the Pusha T and Drake battles I mean it's battling is good for hip-hop as long as it doesn't get super personal and I know they've been getting personal with yeah, each other yeah. but I mean it happens like that and um you know I mean Drake and Meek Mill went at each other yeah, they yeah. Did. yeah. and I think Meek you know I, I think Meek kind of took you know like the uh probably like the like the short end of the stick on that one mm. but now it looks like Drake might be taking yeah. the short end of the stick yeah. on that and that's just hip-hop yeah mm. you know I think they're all amazing artists mm -hmm. you know Meek Drake um, uh, Pusha and even Eminem for that matter. Yeah. I mean, everybody does their thing. So as long as it, it, it stays on wax, I That's think it. it's cool. That's it. Good. Good. Well, we recall uh, watching, because I watched Love and Hip Hop Atlanta when you all were on it. Um, but I Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, I'm just going to hold my tongue right now. <laughs> but um, but, I, but Ooh, honestly, I, I did watch it when you, when you were on the show. Mm -hmm. I did. And of course, I was privy to seeing you and CBJ, you know, okay. falling out, having a tiff, kind of a little, um, bit, little bit of a beef. Right. Um, but you just said, hey, it's cool. You know, I'm a, I'm a money man. I can make money anywhere. And you decided to go to the crab trap. Tell well, us a little bit about that venture. Well, I mean, first, you know, you know being on reality TV, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, um, um, things happen, you know, uh, cameras, well, every time there's cameras are involved, I think small situations become big. Amplified, Because yes. nobody really wants to go out on TV or go out on camera. I just thought it was an amazing opportunity, my three seasons there. Um, you know, it, the way it turned out, of course, was unfortunate. It mm -hmm. wasn't something that I wanted. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I didn't get on TV to fight and carry on. It just yeah. was a bad situation. Um, and, yeah, you know, I mean... I was doing things before Love and Hip Hop, so of course I'm going to keep doing things after Love right, and Hip Hop. Right. And 
I've always been um, cooking, like, for my guys when they would come over on the weekend, uh -huh. the sports. And I'm from Boston, so I was into seafood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I started making these sauces for crabs. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and, and, you know, it... I get you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, should, I know. I, didn't, I mean, maybe next time I can come on and cook That's them. That's you know, what so I was going to say. I would, I would, I would yeah. love to do that. You yeah. Know? yeah. You yeah. and Quad would be great in the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, I throw yeah. them down. Really? Oh, yeah. Serious. Okay. Oh, she yeah. bad. She yeah. a bad girl. Okay. Yes. What, okay. What's, your, what's your... Everything is yeah. and I cannot cook. Really? Nothing. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we're going to learn the latest of Benzino's life, love, and music. You don't want to miss it. More Benzino coming up next. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are back with Benzino. So what's going on with music, sir? Well, well um, you know, I'm, you know, I've, music is my first love when it comes to hip hop. I mean, I, I you know, I, I started out 11 years old in my grandfather's basement cutting records. Mm -hmm. so Cheryl Lynn's To Be Real. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, yeah, was, you know, so <laughs> yes. ever since then, it was like hip hop. I fell in love with it. It's been a part of my life. Um, you know, so I'm always in the studio with my kids, um, Rayshawn, Coy. Um, they, they're, they're aspiring artists themselves. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, out there. Yes. Um, you know, um, I actually worked on her single coming out now, um, produced by Scott Storch. And, oh, nice. Yeah, Beautiful mess, bunch is of it? Beautiful mess, yeah. Yes. So, um, she has that coming out, and yeah, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be a part of music. And Absolutely. Have fun. You're yeah. such a family man. We talked a little bit about that during the commercial break. Yeah. How is your son? How's he doing? Man, Zeno was like, I, I, you know, I mean, all my kids, you know, Taj, Koi, Ray Ray, you know, I mean, <laughs> I love them all, but it's like, I, I just think being um, the age I am right. and where I am mm -hmm. in my life, having a brand new baby is just so much more like, I don't know, it's done something to me that I can't really explain. Right. It's you know you're much saying? more grounded now, I think. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, he really is amazing. And, you know, I mean, I, I just, I'm having such a good time raising him, you know, and it's, I can't say enough about Zeno. Right. But right. I got to tell you. As much as you are a family man, you're definitely a TV man, mm -hmm. and you're made to transition now to growing up hip hop. Yeah. Give us well, a little yeah, bit about I, what well, can man, we expect and how did that I mean, happen? Um, Datari, who's the executive producer, when I was at the Source magazine, we had a TV show called The Source All Access, mm -hmm. and Datari came on and was a part of that. And um, you know, he gave me a call and said, you know, what would I would I be interested in doing the show? I said, of course, you know, because Ray Ray had a deal when he was nine years old on Interscope okay. Records. Okay, oh. and he's been rapping a long time, and Coy just got into it, so. Um, it's like, you know, um, my kids are hip hop babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited, and um, yeah, you know, uh, I just can't wait to, you know, I mean, TV is dope. You yeah. know, so at the end of the day, <laughs> TV is dope. Hey, hey, this was always you know, the goal so, for right, me. You know, so, <laughs> Good. And Honest. you've been doing an amazing job. Thank I'm gonna you say so much. I've so watched much. you guys. Thank you, know, you. So. thank you. Well, we appreciate you being here today. Yes. I appreciate Make sure you. to check out Beautiful Mess on Spotify and iTunes. Yes. And the conversations always continue at sisterscircletv.com. And Zeno, everybody. Yes. 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 Yes.